a breakthrough has been made in the fight to reduce the amount of hazardous, man-made, forever chemicals in the environment. Perfluoroalkyl and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAS, have many uses in society, but have also been linked to cancer and other health conditions. They are known to be extremely pervasive, with a recent study claiming that rainwater everywhere on Earth has been found to contain dangerous levels. This is partly due to how PFAS can take thousands of years to degrade, but scientists at University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and Northwestern University have discovered a new way of breaking them down. They initiated a chemical reaction that nibbled away at 10 different PFAS by heating contaminated water with low cost reagents. The technology, which resulted in no harmful byproducts, could eventually make it easier for water treatment plants to remove the chemicals from drinking water. PFAS are man made chemicals used as oil and water repellents and coatings for common products, including cookware, carpets, and textiles. These endocrine disrupting chemicals do not break down when they are released into the environment, and they continue to accumulate over time. PFAS chemicals can contaminate drinking water supplies near facilities where the chemicals are used. PFAS contamination has been detected in water near manufacturing facilities as well as military bases and firefighting training facilities where foam containing PFAS is used. They also enter the food supply through food packaging materials and contaminated soil. There are about 12,000 PFAS in existence which have many uses, including in firefighting foams. The non-stick coatings on frying pans and textiles. They were first developed in the 1940s, but since then many scientific tests have linked the synthetic chemicals to health problems. Despite many manufacturers phasing them out of their products, they are still routinely detected all around us. Their longevity is thanks to a bond they all contain between carbon and fluorine atoms that nothing in nature can break. PFAS are thought to get into the environment through industrial emissions. Transfer from packaging, wastewater and evaporation from the foams. The extra strong carbon-fluorine bond means they can pass through most water treatment systems completely unharmed. For this reason, scientists have been urgently trying to find ways to quickly remove PFAS from contaminated water sources. However most current technologies are aggressive and expensive. Requiring extremely high temperatures, special chemicals or irradiation with ultraviolet light. Some of the techniques produce byproducts that are also harmful, and require additional steps to remove. 